And I encourage every one of you to look around and evaluate how you can make our society better, where you can right an injustice, or perhaps build better opportunities for your neighbors and your communities. You've gotten an incredible head start here at Elon, where the curriculum encourages civic engagement and community leadership. But the curriculum on its own did not produce the nearly half a million dollars in pro bono service that you gave to nonprofits in Greensboro, or the lesson plans that you wrote to give local teens an education and experience in the practice of law. It was you, the students at Elon, that counseled low and moderate income citizens at your school's tax clinic. It was you who joined the student organizations, co-sponsored public forums on the law, and, and participated in your own community service initiatives. That was all you. And I can tell you that type of work does not happen at many law schools. And it's what's going to make you stand out from the other law school peers and what gives me the confidence that you are on your way to becoming great lawyers. So graduates, as hard as it may be, push aside your fear and anxiety about whatever the future holds. Instead, do not be afraid to challenge the establishment, to go against the grain, to be wary of where the law is not serving everyone equally. It's the only way the law will progress. And stay in touch, as Jeb said, with your classmates. You not only share a bond from your time together these past three years, but from my own experience, law school friends will reappear when you least expect it, especially when you become a U.S. Senator. <laughs> and keep what your own Dean Johnson says, no matter which field of law you decide to pursue, law is really at its core, at its very best, an enterprise of public service.